You must prepare and calibrate the Tonopen device before use. Remove the Tonopen from its case and spray the probe tip with compressed gas to clean the mechanism and ensure its free movement. Place an Ocufilm latex cover over the probe tip. The cover should fit snugly, but be free of tension. The Tonopen should be calibrated daily before use. Hold the probe vertically with the tip pointing straight down. Press and release the activation switch twice in rapid succession. Two beeps will sound and CAL will appear on the LCD screen. Hold the probe in this position until a beep sounds. This may take up to 20 seconds. UP will then appear on the LCD screen. Immediately turn the probe 180 degrees so that the tip is pointing straight up. In a few seconds, you will hear another beep. If the LCD reads good, the calibration was successful and you are ready to use the device. If the LCD reads bad, the calibration was unsuccessful and you will need to repeat the calibration process. If further attempts at calibration are unsuccessful, Loosen the Ocufilm cover and repeat the process. If repeated attempts are unsuccessful, press the reset button and repeat the calibration sequence. You may also try cleaning the probe tip with compressed air or replacing the battery if calibration is unsuccessful. Contact the manufacturer if you are unable to achieve proper calibration. The patient may be positioned seated or supine during the measurement of the intraocular pressure, provided that the device is applied perpendicular to the corneal surface. Instruct the patient to look upwards and place two drops of ophthalmic anesthetic into the lower ocular sulcus. Ask the patient to close his eye to prevent the anesthetic from leaking out of the orbit. Press and release the activation switch once to turn the tona pen on. A beep will sound, and two rows of bars will appear on the LCD. If the LCD screen remains blank, press and release the activation switch again. Hold the Tona pen like a pencil perpendicular to the cornea. Rest the heel of your hand against the patient's cheek to provide stability. Quickly and lightly touch the cornea at least four times until four valid readings are obtained. A click will sound and a reading will appear on the LCD each time a valid reading is obtained. After four valid readings, a final beep will sound, and the averaged measurement will appear on the LCD. The number on the screen represents the intraocular pressure in millimeters of mercury. The bar reflects the statistical reliability of the reading. A reading of greater than 20% indicates an unreliable measurement and mandates retesting. If four dashes appear on the LCD after the final beep, too few valid readings were obtained. In this situation, reactivate the probe and repeat the measurement. Recalibration is not required. Refer to the written portion of this chapter for details on analysis of results. Pressures greater than 30 millimeters of mercury require urgent consultation with an ophthalmologist.